What's up guys? It's Mama Deadhead and I am back with the mid-season finale of Fear the Walking Dead. So this is season six, episode seven. Typically it's like eight that makes a mid-season finale, but because of COVID, I know that they, I'm pretty sure that they filmed eight, but I don't think that all the post-production was finished in time for that to be the mid-season finale, which is just, a shame because I don't want to wait, but it could also be uh, something good in disguise because this eight could be like even more of like a big cliffhanger than this one. And then we have to wait even longer to see 10 so or nine. I don't know. Um, but this is episode seven. This is the last one for a while. I'm pretty sure that they're back filming. So it should probably be on a more normal schedule next year. Like, I'm pretty sure the six episodes for The Walking Dead start in February, which is normal time. So I would imagine probably fear the back half of this one next. And then season two of World Beyond, or maybe they might run together again. Who knows? But it seems like everything is getting back on track. So fingers crossed there. So this is titled Damage from the Inside, and it says, When Dakota goes missing, Strand sends Alicia and Charlie on a search and rescue mission to find her. Meanwhile, an unlikely ally provides a new possibility of escape from Virginia. So I have read that synopsis before. Normally I don't, but because it's a mid-season finale, I was trying to like poke around and find some like hints of something, but I, I can't really find anything. I, I didn't watch the opening minutes and I didn't watch um the uh the the promo that comes out with like all of the moments in it. I did watch the one in my last reaction that had uh, uh it was just like a 30 45 second clip of Alicia and Charlie. Didn't really give me that much. <laughs> so Going into this kind of blind, the only thing I'm really worried for is we don't see Grace and we don't see Skidmark. I, oh my God, I hope we see Skidmark. And I told you guys I did see that picture where, um, well, it's like in a trailer that is John, like, looks like he's fighting like a ton of walkers from this way he's in a truck right here they're all closing in and he is in the back of the truck and this other person is like also in the back of the truck and now knowing morgan's makeover it's him so i'm hoping that we all know at some point morgan is going to reunite with like hopefully hopefully everyone so i'm really really hoping for morgan and john reunion in this because they're best friends and i really want to see that <laughs> But I'm worried that we're not going to get that either. Um, I, I'm really, don't get me wrong, I'm so excited for more Alicia and Strand. Especially Strand, because I want to know what his mind is up to. Uh, he's, he's full of surprises. But um, I, I really want to see the people that we haven't seen yet and see like some reunions that we haven't seen. So hopefully this can give me that, or at least a sneak peek to let me know that Grace is okay and that Skidmark is okay because that's the last people that we haven't really seen. Other than the kids, but the kids are like pretty much dead last on the totem pole of people that I want to see. It's like Grace, Skidmark, everyone else. And like, <laughs> I haven't seen them yet. So I, I hope that this is just really dope. And the title is Damage from the Inside, which is something that Strand said in the finale of Five, which is basically like, Alicia, come on with me. We can do more damage from the inside. So um, if I had to put my money anyway, I would say that Strand is likely going to stay on Virginia's side. Um, but I don't think he's actually on her side. No matter what he... I mean, he might straight up merc some people. I don't know. He's... He's a wild card, but I still would kind of have faith um, that he is going to end back up with, at the very least, Alicia. Because, like, most people have a hierarchy of characters that they, like, love. And, like, the characters have a hierarchy that I've talked about before, which is, you know, the person that they love essentially comes before everyone else. I've seen it time and time again on, like, pretty much every TV show. Um, 
trans person would be Alicia. So I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm genuinely curious to see how this goes or if he would possibly put the the group unit or like everyone over Alicia. I don't know. Um but he left her and moved her somewhere far away so she didn't have to see the crazy shit that he was going to pull. So I imagine uh, it's certainly not going to be black and white like, oh, I'm secretly with you. Like, you know, calm down. We'll figure it out. I doubt Strand's not that type of person. So let's go ahead and get this started. Fingers crossed for some characters we haven't seen yet. I need some kitty cat beauty to grace the screen. So... All right, let's go ahead and get it started, guys. What the fuck? Oh, why do you have to show me that? Uh, I don't Don't get why that would make him not be on his horse. Up here with saws. This wasn't the way in there. Oh, that was cut. That was cut. That's a setup. Ready to get back to Dakota. The combo. Bye bye, Dakota. <laughs> Horses are so pretty. Please don't kill anymore. So somebody was really waiting to just nab her because there's no way that girl did that on her own. If she did, she is one like hell of a secret cannon. I would be careful of who's watching you out there because obviously somebody was just there. Ah, okay. So it's an Alicia title card. And now Walker in the back is Fucking dope. Buck's Landing. Okay, alright. Let's see what you got, Buck. I just want to see all the maps the show has. Honestly, all the shows. Can I, Can we... Skybound. <laughs> Walking Dead. Hear me out. I need maps I can purchase from every show. <laughs> She's like, so done. <laughs> Why are you helping him? You shot her brother and you're with her. Like, permanently. I don't think you should be the one talking on trust. Just kind of hits the ear wrong. Julia, calm down. I hate taxidermy. It's so creepy. Oh yeah, that, the music doesn't help. At all. Yeah, this is like a bunch of notes for me. I would be out of there. Now, all of my alarm bells are going off. I don't like it. I'm just waiting on someone to come up behind Alicia. Holy oh, shit! Wasn't expecting that! I was expecting her to get grabbed, but not freaking drugged. We need to get out of here. No. She's rather comfy. I lost all swear. She found me when I was. I don't fucking trust to go to. No, sir. Um, you and Dakota can fuck and right of off. Either of you are. Okay, so what the fuck is Charlie doing right now? What universe am I in right now? I don't know who or what I trust. The convoy got attacked. All right. I mean, I don't understand why people are just so trustful that she's going to say, Where are you going to go, huh? Why does everyone think she's just going to follow through with her word? Like, I don't, like, I legitimately don't understand why Alicia and June are just like, Oh yeah, she's going to give me everything I want. There's definitely not going to be any problems. Because it really seems like they think that there's going to be no, like, kinks in their plan. I, I just... <sighs> We trusted this guy. Why? <laughs> I should have just kept going. Well, too little, just too late. Looking for a way. Well, I mean, not exactly like that, because at least she's about to give her back. And how come you said it on their channel? Uh oh. Just to see if they knew where we were. Come on, Charlie. Dakota. Why didn't you bonk him in the head? <laughs> well, that's a way to go. You're gonna be okay. No, you're not. <laughs> he is. 
Dead. Oh, he, he did. Nice. Gotta make a move. Let's go, let's go. No, 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 no. <laughs> you just <laughs> met! <laughs> please, please let me protect you. Go! Come on, go. yeah. Go. He's actually a pretty dope character, to be honest. They've had some amazing, like, guest stars this season, for real. That is fucking horrifying. No, thank you. That is legit terrifying. No, like... Ugh. Go! Oh my god, what are you doing? Help Charlie! Like, a girl can be delusional and hope. <laughs> I'm gonna turn her over. Are you? I don't know. Honestly, you should buy your freedom. I'm, I mean, I don't trust Dakota. Let's be real. I do not trust Dakota. You attacked the convoy. Have you killed all of them? There wasn't any other way. Whoa, what? What? Virginia has a peace in English. Or if there's even a baby a don't baby, I... stop. Oh my god. I hate it when mom and dad fight. Let's go. Charlie. Don't let me cry, please. For the love of God. Everything I've done, I've done so the the coder is welcome. You all are. She's like, wait, I wasn't before? <laughs> Make a plan. So she gotta be in on. You gotta figure something out. Uh oh. Um. Do you? I don't think we I. We'll do what we have to. I don't think any of them wanna do this. <laughs> Nobody's gonna do anything. I'm like, no, come on. I won't be able to protect you. I mean, are we gonna pretend like. Like, literally everyone except for Charlie didn't want to give her back for leverage. <laughs> Where's Dakota? Oh, that's actually dope as hell. Oh, I like that. Yours. Obviously not. He didn't kill everybody else. Victor. Ah! Get up. Oh my god. Oh my god, Grace! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking sob! Look at her belly! Where are we going? Oh shit! Do what next? Oh, fucking A! Oh shit! Oh man! So, she's straight up using her as leverage and she has been in. Lawton! Oh, I can't believe we got to see Grace. Um, uh, okay, so... I don't really know... This is, again, another extremely solid episode. I don't know if it would be my favorite. I still think that the premiere is just, like, so high in my mind. Um, and Alaska, too. Uh, this was a great episode, though. We can't... A snippet of Grace. And I don't know why I didn't figure that she was going to be leverage of some sort as soon as Virginia figured out that Morgan was alive. Um, but I mean, let's be real. It, that makes sense. It makes a whole lot of sense. Um, sorry, I have, uh, I've been hoping to get a react of comment or something because Lenny is taking over the um 
socials today. Well, um, man, I don't know. The, the guest stars that they've had on this that are only in for like one episode, like uh, the first one, the first episode with the person who literally saved Morgan, amazing. They've just had, uh, and Lenny James made a post about this uh, today that they really have had some phenomenal guest stars, you know, one episode type characters. They did absolutely phenomenal with the season so far. And definitely going to get better uh, as time goes on. Dakota, <laughs> I got to keep it honest here. I don't trust Dakota. Uh, I don't trust her a single bit. I think, I think the better end of the deal would have been if Strand, Alicia, Charlie, Morgan, and Dakota all work together and Dakota go back with Strand um, and they figure something out while it seems like everything is like okay. Like things simmer back down and they all work together. Do I think Strand is on Virginia's side for real for real? Absolutely not. Like, I don't, I know that a lot of people just think he's the most evil character ever and the worst ever. Um, a lot of people were so angry at the, like, sneak peek that had him holding a gun to Alicia. Um, or what appeared to be Alicia, which it was Alicia in this episode. She drew her weapon first. And I mean, I think just about everyone would draw a weapon if another weapon's drawn. Obviously... <laughs> Like, I've, this season has been anthology-style episodes. So we are getting, like, one episode with just a couple characters. Another episode, just a couple characters. We're not seeing a lot of reoccurring people. The only person we're really seeing reoccurring is Morgan. And it's not even, like, at length. It's really just small portions of episodes. So... I don't, I didn't think anybody was going to die in this first half. I, I don't think that it would make sense for anyone to die in this first half. Um, and that being said, the finale or any part of the back half, yeah, I think it's probably fair game because they're going to start showing a lot of people more together because more people are coming together. This, when it comes to villains, like... I want everyone from the Gulch. She said she wants everyone from the Gulch. That means everyone. She wants them all back. She's probably going to lock them up. Who knows? This is where villains kind of have their downfall because that is going to be her downfall. There's like absolutely no way that it's not going to be her downfall. She, she's an incredible villain, but villains have a thing of talking too much when they should be killing people, um, being extra animated when they don't have to be, wanting everything or nothing. So wanting everyone, I think, is going to be the end all to her because there's just no way that that's going to happen. It doesn't matter how many people she has, they will find a way. Again, do I think Strand is the worst person ever in the history of the world? No, I don't think anybody in this show is, like, the worst ever in the history of the show. Do I think we can trust Charlie? Yeah. Um, the comment I made about her being like, you trust him or whatever she said about Strand. Like, <laughs> she trusts you and you did way worse to her. Like, Strand, while he always has done, like, sneaky conniving stuff, it's always been, like, in the best interest interest of the people that he actually cares about. He doesn't care about Dakota. I gotta keep it real. I don't care about Dakota. I care about the people that we have. I care about Grace way more than I care about Dakota. If there is a chance for us to trade Dakota and Grace, get it going. I would trade them absolutely a hundred out of a hundred times. Um, obviously, them holding weapons to each other. They're not going to kill each other. Alicia and Strand love each other. 
Um, Morgan isn't about to kill anybody in his group. He wants everyone together, which includes Strand. Um, uh, I, I don't know where this is going to go from here. I'm insanely interested to find out. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> it's, it's tough now. now. Now that she has a grace for leverage, I don't like it. I don't like it. I wish that, um, I did have some comments on my last uh, reaction video that uh, were saying that June was right, that wasn't the right time, or that, or you don't know who her second hand is. It could be way worse. This other group could be way worse. That's one of those, like, is there a bigger villain out there? Sure. Does that mean that the person is not a villain? No, like, she's still a villain. So... Not to mention when Virginia rolled up to Tank Town, uh, she had her number one and number two guys with her. Like, she had her, like, direct under that would, you know, become the leader with her. Kill them all. It wouldn't have been that hard. If they took Virginia out, they could have, like, lured her in somehow, or lured them in somehow, thinking that Virginia was there trying to save her and kill them. It wouldn't have been that hard. I feel like that probably would have saved a lot of trouble here. Um, and then they would have found some way to get everyone together because I would, I would assume that not a lot of people are drinking Virginia's Kool-Aid. It doesn't seem like a lot of people are drinking Virginia's Kool-Aid. She doesn't seem like a nice lady. I don't think anybody thinks she's a nice lady. She might have her minions that are directly under her, but if you take care of them, seems like a problem solved type thing. I think that Sherry and Sherry was jumping the gun for sure because Virginia wasn't even there. Um, I think effectively they just they have just fueled more fire under Virginia. They like they've just made it worse. Like I don't know. And then June with the hospital also has some comments that she could do a lot of good. She definitely could do a lot of good, um, but she doesn't need to pick and choose who goes. So if she is going to be seeing good people from Lawton in the communities, she is going to be seeing the bad people. She is going to be seeing Virginia. She's going to be seeing uh, all of her little minions. She's going to be seeing the bad people too. And plus, that's a massive target. Uh, I'm just throwing that out there. If you know it's a hospital, that is definitely a big place that I would hit if I was a villain coming in and trying to make the community weak. If you don't have a way to make people better, you have better chances of you know, people not recovering from, like, any push you make on their community. Um, I have a bad feeling. <laughs> we're gonna lose people. There's just absolutely no way that we're not gonna lose somebody in the back half of this show. Hopefully, it's not, like, a million years from now. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not a million years from now. I sincerely hope, uh, this back half of the season is on the tail end of uh, the last six episodes. I think that's going to be it for this discussion. I'm definitely looking forward to the coming episodes. And I know from the little uh, teaser that they put out for Grace that at some point, I don't know if they reunite, but Grace figures out that um, Morgan is alive because her little teaser was her voice saying, we thought you were dead. Don't know that's over a walkie, unfortunately. But, um, looks like it's going to be leverage. Looks like it's going to be... It, what it appears to be is that Virginia is going to try and pull something that's, okay, I will give you grace if you give me Dakota, and then she's going to screw them over anyway. So, um, I hope, which... Strand doesn't trust, like, anybody ever, so I highly doubt if she was like, oh yeah, definitely, like, trade for trade, we'll be fine. I don't think that he would buy June's stuff like everybody else is buying, um, but he might, because for some reason everybody else does. I Like, I, that's just, like, that's something that's going beyond me right now. Like, Luciana doesn't seem to trust June, or not June, sorry. She doesn't trust Virginia at all. So, like, when June saved her and, like, said, like, we get the hospital, Luciana was like, we can't trust her. What are you talking about? Like, that's my feeling about it. Um, 
Yeah, so it's Sunday and next Thursday, so I guess, or this coming Thursday, is the finale, finale, finale double airing of World Beyond. So, that will be out for you guys. I'm considering doing alternating weeks of Into the Badlands and Clone Wars so that I can get, you know, caught up on all that. I am watching Mandalorian, but that is something that I will not be reacting to, unfortunately, because that's a family thing, and I'm not going to be doing reactions with family, so uh, me and Tony and Athena watched that together. Sorry that that can't be a reaction. But I do need to get caught up on Clone Wars anyway, because the amazing Ahsoka is going to be in The Mandalorian, so need to figure out what's up. I imagine there will probably be some type of spoiler for Clone Wars, but ultimately I know how Clone Wars goes, so I mean, who knows. But yeah, so you guys can look forward to World Beyond coming soon, and then Clone Wars and Into the Badlands. And I'm going to keep this channel going strong. Probably will take a break for Christmas. Hold on, let me see right here. So Christmas is on a Friday. So I, I'm assuming, might be a safe assumption here that the 21st, that Monday, until the 4th, Athena will likely be out of school, so that will make it harder for reactions. I don't know if that's going to be a time where I say that's an outright break. If you guys are cool with that, please comment and let me know, because you know, family and whatnot. I, I might try and, uh, like, save up some reactions for that time of the year so that I can take a break and, like, step away, just schedule everything. You guys let me know what you want, but I love this episode. Season 6 has been solid. I'm obviously going to wait until the end to make um, my declaration of if it's my favorite season or not. Um, I think I did decide after much deliberation that out of the five previous seasons, I've said three and five are my favorite. I would probably go ahead and say five is my all-time favorite. Just because... Um, the three may have had more going on, but I think uh, the characters just make five way better than three because a lot of the characters, to be fair, I didn't really like in three, except for Alicia Strand and Daniel. That's about it. Everybody else they killed. So, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see where this goes. It definitely, uh, I hope that Morgan won't die in the finale. I'm always going to be worried for that. I mean, people can say he has all the plot armor in the world, but I just don't believe it. It's not like he has, it's not like they've said, oh yeah, season eight is going to be the finale, like the actual series finale for Fear, and he's going to have a spinoff of his own two years. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have that you know, set in stone type thing. So, I don't know. I I can see, I, I think, I think personally, I could see Morgan and Alicia and John being the only safe people. I think everybody else is kind of up for grabs. Daniel can basically leave whenever he pleases because Reuben Blades is just stellar. Um, Dwight, kind of a wild card. I don't know if they would kill him on this show, but they definitely could. I mean, everybody else I think is up in the air. It could come down to... Um, Alicia may be killing Strand in the finale. I could see that. I don't want that to happen, but I could see it. 
I only think Strand is more up in the air than he was before, but um, with that being said, I would hope that Alicia, Strand, and Luciana are all safe because they deserve it, and not that many people got through the first three seasons. As far as um, a lot of people I heard, as far as re reviewers and people that saw this a little bit before me, saying that, all oh, Alicia talked about the stadium, Madison could come back. Madison could be the person that um, saves or saved Morgan. Um, for those that have been watching me since I did my, this is the show that I started reactions for, and it was season three. Like I, I don't think all of season three. I think probably like maybe I started at season three, episode four or something, somewhere around there. Um, I didn't like Madison. I, I thought she was a very, very, very inconsistent character. Now, I'm all down for anti-heroes, and a lot of people have said, oh, she's an anti-hero. She's, like, supposed to, like, be dysfunctional and, like, not a good person. Well, like, I would understand that if there was any consistency to it, because sometimes she's like, oh, I'm the best mother in the world. Just kidding, you can poison my son. Oh, yeah, you can go off and do whatever with your life. I'm gonna turn on a hotel light for you. And then, like, I'm gonna do whatever it takes for, like, everything and self-preserve, and then I'm gonna do nothing. It was never, like, a <laughs> cohesive thing with her character. And back when I was reacting, like, in season three, I rarely saw Madison fans. Like, most of the stuff, the hate with reacting and, like, being online for seasons one through three was way more intense than four and five. I know that a lot of people think that the way people act towards four and five is unfair, but um, one through three was way worse because with a new show, you're always going to have the people that are like, it's a spinoff. It sucks. It's nothing like The Walking Dead. And then people that hate characters just to hate them. And then when you have a family that's like very dysfunctional, which I think is definitely valid, um, but it makes them like very unlikable. I, I liked Travis. I didn't really care for him whenever I was watching back then but re-watching I can understand where he was coming from. I wish that he wouldn't have died when he did um but not a Madison fan. I don't want Madison to come back and if she saved Morgan then that creates a host of problems for me because I would hope that she would come back as a villain but if she saved Morgan's life she's not a villain. But if she's not a villain, and she saw the tapes that Morgan and everyone did, that means she knows that Alicia has been alive for at least a year and has done diddly squat to get back to her. Um, which would, like I said, that makes me think she's a villain, but then why would you help somebody? Uh, that just makes me think that if they do bring her back, she's going to be a, a really inconsistent character again. Like, oh, I'm a villain, just kidding. I have a soft spot for my kid. Just kidding. No, I don't. I'm going to stab her. Like, I <laughs> I just don't. I just, if you like Madison, that's fine. I don't hate Madison by any means. I don't think she's the worst character to, you know, ever grace the screen or anything like that. Um, I just don't. She's not my like. I'll stop talking. I appreciate you all for watching this reaction. I'm excited for the back half of the season. I wish that this wasn't the mid-season finale, but I didn't get to see Skidmark, and I didn't get to see John and Morgan reunite, and I need that in my heart. So I hope that after the episode is over on live television, that I can see just a sneak peek of them seeing each other. Please. 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 AMC. AMC gods. Please. Let, let me have that for my heart for 2020. I need it. Um... Yeah, alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and like always, I think positive thoughts and some positive vibes. Bye guys. What's up everybody? Always think positive thoughts and send positive vibes. It's from Mama Dead here, y'all. And I always remember, I know what's happening, and I know what's going on. And please, always nurture your inner spirit. Peace.